Buongiorno and welcome to Italian Heavy Metal. This time we have a band called Serial Vice and this is their debut album Nightmares Come True. This is actually of 2017 so once again one of those backlog review albums that got me sent so long time ago probably late 2018 already or something like that so um, that should give you an indication how it goes here with the uh, massive flow. Now uh, this is being the first album um, kind of a first step after demo phase to a proper album and as such this almost 40 minutes of an uh, album is all about serial killers, violence, murders, human psychology and stuff like that. Now technically this album could be very much a combination uh, between trash metal, heavy metal and even some classic epic doom. Why so? Well I'll try to explain. But first let's take a look at the band's metal archive site. As you can see the band has been there already quite a few years but it's not the most active band when it comes to the actual discography having been released only three releases so far and two of them being demo and single so uh, not the most active band definitely so. However it's not to disrespect the band because at least they are not one of those bands that just put out something and hope it being worthwhile. While this is definitely not one of the best uh, heavy metal albums I've heard, it's rather interesting and in my opinion it kind of shows a lot of promise also. Now the weakness on this album is also one of the most interesting points and that is the vocalist. Because the vocalist seems to be not the most charismatic voice in heavy metal but at least it's trying rather nicely. The thing here is Sometimes it feels like it's more about this kind of a epic doom with its style of singing rather versus being this kind of a trashy style what the guys with the guitars are doing. So so often it seems like it's a combination of different ideas kind of a forcefully put together. Now some of the riffs are just good mood heavy metal which is there in a quite a bit of contrast uh, with this kind of a serial killer topics and whatever uh, in that direction. So it's kind of a weird that you might be just, you know, driving with your car like, hey, I'm just enjoying these nice views, sun shining and all that stuff and these happy go getter moods lead <laughs> when the mood is all about like uh, killing people. So it's kind of a weird. And also, like I said, sometimes vocalist is almost like this heavy metal epicness. <laughs> and I'm feeling like these guys are like, din, 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 you know, uh, maybe it's just, just me, but I feel like uh, sometimes these parts don't go, like don't fit each other too well. But most of the time it does, so it's not a, like that much of a big deal. But what I hope there is to be that the vocalist would be better than me doing my heavy metal impression there, because now it seems like uh, this is not reaching where it should be. And while the vocalist is not bad by any means, it's still very much like work in progress in my opinion. Uh, I think it should be more kind of bold, more courageous, you know, in order to reach the heights and go pushing more forward. Now these little bit of trashy bits with the riffs are not that bad. I actually think they give this a nice kind of a seasoning, to so to say, and as such the outcome is pretty decent. However, this is far from being really good an album. I think uh, the overall problem is that the songwriting is not that really captivating. While the album is nice and easy to listen to and as such could probably be this so-called driving album, nothing really sticks here. It's not really memorable, it's not really catchy, it's nothing uh, phenomenal. So quite nice, a heavy metal album from Italy but it's very much showing the signs of a typical debut album. So uh, lots of pointers which could be a lot better also. But still, in case you just happen to be a fan of traditional heavy metal and you don't mind that a little bit of a doomy vibe with the vocals or trashy parts with the riffs, there you have it, give it a chance. But in case old school heavy metal or traditional heavy metal is something that you're allergic to, just press skip and move on. Thank you for watching. Take 